About three years ago, we started building an advanced technology vehicle. We had the mindset that we were going to bring a, a regular GM vehicle, a stock vehicle. We were going to try to make it all electric and uh, achieve over 100 miles per gallon. So then when the XPRIZE came along, it seemed like a natural fit, so we, we jumped on it. Uh, we didn't really build a, a special car for the XPRIZE. We, we just entered in our stock production car. Our entry in this race is a two-seater, you know, GM, Saturn, Sky. Uh, what we think is you know, unique about us is, you know, we're selling our cars right now, so we're producing them for people. So we have a regular production car that's made it to the finals of this high mileage race. And so anybody that used to say a regular car can't go 100 miles per gallon, you know, we think uh, we've dispelled that. So it isn't a super lightweight, it isn't, uh, it's, it's got four wheels, you know, it means it looks good. It's just what America drives can indeed get 100 miles per gallon. We chose early on, even before the X Prize, that we would convert existing vehicles. And that decision came from, you know, the challenge of, of building a drivetrain, an electric drivetrain, uh, takes everything we've got and more. I mean, we have a street legal insured car, you know, safe, six airbags. Doing that from scratch uh, and, and spending the, all the time in the wind tunnel that GM did. Uh, doing all the lightweight super materials that they put into these cars these days. Doing that from scratch is, is beyond what we can even fathom. It's like I, I think any race environment, some part of it makes its way to mainstream. So we've taken a, a lot of the things we've learned here, where we're trying to squeak out every calorie from the, our charge or the safety aspects. And we've learned that and we've put that into our production vehicles as well. The biggest thing I've learned during the course of this is that uh, you can't do this alone. You know, this takes a tremendously dedicated team. You know, I think the thing the XPRIZE has caused us to do is to, to analyze other people's thinking in the space. It's enlightened us that we don't have to be completely tunnel vision. We're not the only ones in the world trying to accomplish this. Trying to move us off of oil is going to take more than any one team. You know, it's going to take a, a lot. So it's, it's helped us see a bigger picture, I think. When you're trying to evoke change, you can't invoke too much change at once. Something, especially something as ingrained as our vehicles and what propels them. So we're saying, okay, we're going to give you a new propulsion method. You know, we're going to electrify the automobile. But everything else is the same. You know, we don't want to change too much too fast. So you can feel safe. You can go fast. Uh, you have all the amenities that we're, we're used to. I mean, the bar in modern vehicles is so high now. What people expect from a modern day passenger car, I mean, it's phenomenal. So, uh, and weight's one of them. You know, after 100 years, cars are, have four wheels and, uh, again, weigh almost two tons. And so we kept that, we said, can we take a car like that and make it get 100 miles per gallon? And that was our challenge internally. Our cars look and feel and act just like a regular car. It's a real car. You know, it's practical. It's quick and it's fun.